Oh, wait a second. It says Budgie at Bendix Point. Budgie at Bendix Point? Budgie at Bendix Point? You want to read that one? Yeah. The whole Budgie at Bendix Point? Yeah. We could take Oh, my gosh. Okay. Sit down here, and we shall read Budgie at Bendix Point by the soon-to-be former Duchess of York. Okay. And Daddy. Mm hmm Oh, here's the map, huh? Right at the beginning of the book. Yeah, Daddy. Yeah, Daddy. See all the things on the map there? Yeah, Daddy. But where's the pirates? And the boats? And the snee? I don't know. And the hawk. Okay, let's start. Budgie at Bendix Point. And thus, and the boat. Dring, dring, went the alarm. At last, the day of the air show had arrived. Everyone in the hangar was excited. Everyone, that is, except for Budgie, the little helicopter. Not much point in my getting up, he thought. I'm hey. going back to sleep. Yeah, day. This is a bee, and the man stamped a blue bee on his head. Oh. But Budgie couldn't get back to sleep. Every time he closed his eyes, he saw flocks of sheep. Budgie knew it was naughty to chase animals, but when he was out last week, he had not been able to stop himself. He had hoped no one would see him. Why did Lionel have to fly by just then and catch him? So now, Lionel insisted that Budgie do the parcel deliveries. Do you think there's a fire engine? Yeah, there is a fire engine there. Do you think there's a fire in this house? No, I don't think so. So now, Lionel they, insisted Budgie they, do the parcel deliveries on the day out? of the air show. Did they put them out? Yes, I think so. Budgie watched Lionel polish his medals and then begin inspecting the planes and helicopters as they came out of the helicopter wash. Yeah, yeah, and these three helicopters are going to move and they're going to... Uh, there be... goes Scruffy Budgie, said Lionel as Budgie passed. Yeah, they're going to be at the helicopter. I'm glad he's not in the air show, especially my surprise demonstration. Yeah, but he's in. But I don't mind missing the inspection and clean up here, one bit, said Budgie. He's over here. He's over here. And, and this airplane, this airplane, okay, and come on, this let's airplane finish. is going to... As he rose into going, the air. ...is going to... Uh, the, bye bye, Budgie, shouted Pippa other, after him. The other planes are going to fly, Daddy. Okay. As he flew along the coast towards Bendix Point, yeah, Daddy, Budgie because, cheered up. Because the two, because the two boys didn't cut lots and lots of fish. The sea was sparkling, and the cold wind whipped his cheeks. He almost forgot about the air show and what he was missing. Uh, just a second, Daddy. Mm -hmm. There's a poof on my body. I gotta hurry to the back. Okay. Okay. Where 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 do we leave off here, Mark? We leave off. Um, okay. Um, maybe I should go and check out uh, possibilities for my Aunt Helen, in case you know I find something else. Um. Just for now. Wink it. I already asked Dad's permission. Okay, sit down. Okay. See you later. Here we go. We'll read. Continue with Budgie at Bendix Point. Okay, put the water down. You can't drink it here. Drink it. You can drink. Take a drink, but don't put it back. Okay. Put it back. Not there. Here. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to finish this in time here. As he flew along the coast... <laughs> As he flew along the coast towards Bendix Point, Dude. Budgie cheered up. The sea was sparkling and the cold wind whipped his cheeks. Look, Daddy, the... the uh, he almost forgot about the look, air show and what he was missing. Look, Daddy, the air wall is starting to turn. It tur it's turning. It's turning low. And it's yellow That again. means it's working. As he looked down, he saw two boys preparing to go out for the day in their boat. They waved to Budgie as he passed. As usual, Captain Frobisher was waiting for Budgie when he arrived at the lighthouse at Bendix Point. Be careful, shouted the captain, as Budgie lowered the rope. 
There's a gale warning, and the wind is getting stronger every minute. It was difficult to hover, but after two or three tries, Budgie managed to unload his parcels. I'd better get on with my deliveries, thought Budgie, before the wind gets any worse. They'll be starting the air show about now. I wonder how it's going. <laughs> and there's the air show. Shoom, the planes go overhead, and there's Lionel the helicopter. But that, he, he daddy. Mm-hmm. A blue plane, a gray plane, and a green plane, and a and, and, a, people, huh? and a red plane, because they're starting to take off. Okay. When Budgie returned, the air show was well underway, but watching the display made him feel left out. I know, he thought. I'll listen to my radio. Helicopter Heroes, my favorite program, is on. But just then... Budgie's emergency channel came to life. Nayday, 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 nayday. Hold on, said Budgie. That sounds like Captain Frobisher. Budgie listened hard. The message was from Benedict's Point. The two boys were in trouble. Quick, said Budgie. I'd better raise the alarm. I do wish Pippa was here. Where's the, uh, 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 a sail? I guess must have blown into the sea. Then where's the fun? That's why they're in trouble. Then where is that? And what happened to the pal? But as he hopped towards the siren, Budgie realized no one would hear him. The air show was at its exciting climax with Lionel's surprise demonstration. Lionel and Chinup the Chinook were lifting huge weights on a metal cable. It was breathtaking to watch. Budgie tried to attract their attention, but just then there was a loud crack. The cable had snapped. It whipped up and hit Lionel's rotors, knocking him into a spin. Oh no, shouted Budgie. Right then, at that moment, Pippa appeared. The two friends gasped as Lionel made his emergency landing. His rotors were completely bent. The fire engines quickly approached. But Budgie hadn't forgotten the distress call. He quickly explained to Pippa what had happened. Come on, he said, we haven't much time. We'd better go on our own. Soon, Budgie and Pippa saw the familiar rocky coast and Bendix Point. The gale was getting worse, so Pippa circled high above the storm to keep radio contact with the lighthouse. Budgie flew out to sea and then approached the cliffs. He couldn't see much because the rain beat so heavily into his eyes. At last, he caught sight of the little boat. The boys were trapped in a narrow cove and the tide was rising. Never had Budgie seen rocks so sharp. Good luck, Budgie, radioed Pippa. Help, help, Budgie heard the boys cry. I'd better lower a rope, thought Budgie. It's our only hope in this rough sea. Hold on, he shouted to the boys, Come but on, they couldn't I hear. I gotta go. I gotta okay. Hold on, he shouted to the boys, but they couldn't hear. The wind was too strong. All at once, a huge roaring wave hit Budgie's skids and knocked him off balance. Budgie let go of the rope and swerved upwards. The storm was getting worse. I wish I was back at the hangar, thought Budgie. He looked at Pippa circling above. Budgie knew a helicopter was stronger in this weather than a small plane. It's all up to me, he thought. He held his breath and he swooped again into the cove. He hovered for a moment and shouted, Quick, hang on tight, boys. We're going up. And there they are, hanging on to the bottom parts of the helicopter. Using all his strength, Budgie rose to the top of the cliff. Just as he reached safety, the boys let go of the skids. People rushed towards them. The boys were safe at last. Hooray! Thanks, Budgie, they shouted. Budgie now had to get back. Too dangerous to land here, Pippa, said Budgie. Let's go back home before the weather gets worse. On the way back to the hangar, Pippa radioed ahead to tell everyone about Budgie's brave rescue. Then where is... When the two friends arrived, there was a loud cheer. Lionel blushed and slipped forward. Er, harumph, he cleared his voice. <laughs> Budgie, you and Pippa have both been very brave. As he spoke, Lionel presented Budgie with a gleaming medal. Budgie beamed. And now, said Lionel, we've got a surprise for you. And Daddy. Where's the surprise? Here we go. And there they all go, racing past at the end of the fly show. With Budgie in the lead. 
Budgie had never felt happier than when he led the fly then, past. Then we're what an exciting end to an exciting day! But we're we're at time into his uh, uh, rotors. His bent rotors? Yeah, his bent rotors. Oh, they must have fixed him, I guess. Because he's okay now. That's the end of Budgie at Bendix Point. Yeah, they, there's Budgie and Pippa and Rhino and, and a sinking ship. And, hey, what happened to the, bi- the pirates and the ship? And the ship, too? And the, and the, and the sea. And the snee. And the who and the cat and the cook. I don't know. Okay, that's the end of that one.